Hi, I'm Emily Nordyke, Technical Officer at Tocal College. Today, we'll talk about using drone uncapping as a method for varroa monitoring. And it's important to note that drone uncapping is a useful tool for detecting the presence or absence of mites, but it is not useful for getting an actual mite threshold in your colonies. So for this method, you'll need your personal protective equipment, so your jacket, veil, or suit, and gloves, depending on your level of comfort. And then you will also want your smoker and your hive tool. And for the actual drone and capping, you'll need a capping scratcher or some other wide tooth comb to uncap the drones. And you might also want a white background so that you can see Varroa stand out against the drones. Um, so either a white piece of paper, white cardboard, any white surface really. So I've already taken off the super and gotten to the brood nest. So we're looking for our drone brood. In this case, we have a special drone comb, but you might be looking through your brood nest to find the actual drone brood. So, here is our bright green drone frame. Plenty of drone brood to work with here mostly on the other side. So I'm just taking a quick look for my queen because I'm going to shake some of the bees off of the frame so it's easier to do the uncapping. So she's not there, I'll give it a good shake. And then it's important to note that we are looking for drones in the later stages. So we're looking for pink or purple eyed drones uh, just because the tines of the capping scratcher will skewer them more easily. All right, so we've found a patch of purple-eyed drone pupae, which will be a good age for us to do our uncapping. So we're looking to uncap at least 25 cells in one go. If you don't have a continuous patch of 25 in one go, that's okay, you can take multiple uncappings. So we'll skewer the drones, putting the scratcher to the base of the comb here, and then we lever away from the frame and pull the drone pupae up. So I'll just set this frame down gently. And we can take our piece of white paper just to look through those drone pupae for the presence of mites. And you can see that these are an older stage of pupae so that they came out clean from the comb. If they're a bit young, they'll mush and it'll be harder to look for the varroa. You might also like to have your glasses or a magnifying glass to look for the small mites, but it doesn't look like we have any mites in this set of drones, which is great to see. 